Uh, I got so tired over the last 15 years, and this is a little story I want to tell you about why I'm so — I was telling the team here, I've never been — I've been — I know I don't look it, but I've been around a long time. <laughs> but uh, I've never been more optimistic in my whole career than I am today about America's prospects in both foreign and domestic policy. You know, uh, went through an awful long time watching companies the last 15 years decide to invest overseas because labor is cheaper, shutting down factories all across America, all across America. And I asked myself, why do we have to put up with that? We're sending jobs abroad and importing products at home. We knew we could change that. I just knew we could change that. We have the best workers in the world. And my team — no. And my team and I decided — you know, if you hold here, there's a law that was passed in the 30s. It says, any money that Congress sends me to, to spend, I can insist that it all be spent on American products with American workers. No president has paid much attention to that in any, either party. But guess what? I'm paying attention. As a simple proposition, I mean this in the bottom line, we decided we're going to invest in America. And this company is a great example. They're now poised to be the leader in the wind industry. But a few years ago, they were laying off workers because we weren't investing in them. So we passed a significant climate legislation. Not only it moves us away from fossil fuels to cleaner technologies like wind, but it means we're going to make things and new technology here in America. And there's no reason — there's no reason why we can't do it. We have the best educated, we have the most advanced technology in the world. Why are we not doing that? That's basically what we're talking about today when we talk about investing in America.